nowadays Kanye and his his sessions like are I, it's it's amazing to watch him work. Like it's re- that's truly amazing. Like my man is truly a genius, truly a genius. And it's like he he it's like you can tell like he hears the sounds before before everybody else. It's like he he knows what he wants before anybody else does. So early on, I remember going like the uh, in, in Act One when you see me and Tari come into into the uh, into the session uh, to his crib. And uh, I remember we had a show in Philly. And I called Cootie, like, yo, what's up, man? We close. He like, man, come through. So we roll up to New York. He's like, we at, we at Kanye crib in, in, in uh, Newark. Come through. All right, bet we be there. So we get there. And I met Kanye briefly here and there in Chicago. But this is like first time just actually, you know, building with him. And, you know, they, they uh, I think it was Ice Gree. Ice Gree, like, yeah, man, just Jay Ivy. He was on Deaf Poetry. And this Tari Teray, you know, she got, oh, she got this in her voice. Like, she got this strong voice. He's like, oh, where are you sing? Boom. I got this song, right? So he has us sing. She was the first one to sing on All Falls Down. And then uh, he had to sing on My Way. Um, you remember My Way, Shy Way, This Way or the Highway. So she the one doing the ooh, 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 ooh. And then, uh, and then she sang on something else. But this is, like, we literally there, like, you know, 10 minutes, and he got on the mic singing, and that was just how he moved. Like, oh, I'm gonna use whatever's around, and 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 you not thinking, but but he painting <laughs> like the whole time he painting, and it was just amazing to see it work. And he was like, man, I wanna, man, oh, you do poetry, yeah, yeah, man, I want you to do something. In retrospect, he meant right then, <laughs> but in the moment, I'm thinking, oh yeah, yeah, we get together do something, right? So um, fast forward to. Oh, and, and and in that moment, he like it was maybe like seven of us there. Man, he performed uh, "All Falls Down." He performed "Jesus Walks." He performed uh, uh, "Hey Mama." He already had these songs. This two thousand, two thousand early two thousand two. He performing these songs for the seven of us. Like it's seventy thousand people. He on one knee in the middle of his apartment and rapping. But you know, he was just. It's like, yo, his energy, his drive, his passion was, it was, it was unmatched. So fast forward to now I've moved there and 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 I'm around doing the, the college dropout sessions. This after the accident, he get in the accident in LA. Uh he fly Cootie to LA. And Cootie hitting me up every day, like, yo, man, Jay, you need to get to, you need to get to LA, man. Kanye got this song with him and Jay Z on it. He want to put a poet on it. I told him he need to put Jay Ivy on it. I'm like, man, stop bullshit, man. Like, you know, that ain't funny, right? He like, no, nah, man, you need to get out here tomorrow if you can. Like, I'm broke in between shows. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, all right. I'll... But when I realized he was for real, I was like, yo, oh, you for real? I was like, I'm going to find a way. So he played a song for me over the phone. I, don't, I can't really hear the words. So he telling me what Jay-Z saying in his verse, telling me what Kanye saying in his verse, telling me the hook. He was like, Jay, get out here. I was like, yo, I'm going to find a way. And I hung up the phone. My first thought was, you need to write something right now. So I turned to a blank page. And I was thinking back to that moment when uh, when I was in Jersey with Kanye. And and then I was really felt like, oh, maybe I missed the moment because I didn't just act on it. So let me, let me get on it right now. So I was writing when Cootie called. So I wrote the title down, Never Let Me Down, wrote the date down. And my first thought was, we all here for a reason on a particular path. You don't need a curriculum to know that you're part of the math. And then my mind went completely blank. So I'm like, man, this ain't the time for writer's block. So I started banging on the page. I was like, God, I need a piece right now. I was like, please give me one right now. Put my my, my, my pen back to the page. Hand just started moving, moving, writing, writing, writing. Wrote a full page, turned the page, wrote a few more lines. I stopped, I read over it. I was like, man, this shit kind of hot. So I read over it like four or five times. I called Cootie back in 10 minutes. Like, dog, listen to this. So I spit the poem for him over the phone. He's like, oh, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. He's like, hold on. So he go in another room. Music's loud. People loud. And he's like, Jay, I'm put you on speakerphone. Spit the piece again. So I spit it again like I'd done it a million times already. You know, if I was on the highest cliff, on the highest riff, you slipped off the side, clutched onto your life, my grip, I would never, ever let you down. When I finished... The room erupted. Everybody, like, oh man, oh man, that's crazy, that's crazy. So then, next thing I know, I, I hear Kanye. Kanye, man, Jay, spit it again. So spit it again, spit it again, spit it again, spit it again, spit it again. I did a joint for like a half hour, the piece a minute long. So I did it over and over and over and over again. And then Cootie finally got back on the phone. He's like, Jay, guess what? I'm like, what? He was like, Kanye, flying you out here tomorrow. 
I was like, I found my way. Next thing I know, Def Jam calling me. What's your government name? We sending you a car. Here's your ticket. Be ready. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Hey, Ma, I'm about to go to L.A. Can you Western Union me 100 bucks? So I had something in my pocket, you know? <laughs> so boom, go out to L.A. And then when I get there, now I'm at the record plant. Now I'm seeing what, what Cootie been telling me about, you know, him doing records with Jamie Foxx. And he got this record. And now I'm hearing the music. And I'm like... Oh my God, now I'm in the booth hearing Jay-Z in the headphones and hearing Kanye. And, and I was there like maybe 10 minutes. And Ye was like, yo, you ready? I was like, yeah, I'm coming in there. It's December, I'm coming in, big winter coat and suitcase. He's like, you ready? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Man, just to hear it, to have this moment, to hear, man, this, this legendary MC, Jay-Z, who was about to retire, and I'm on one of the last records that, he, that he's, you know, he was retired, but I'm on a, at the moment he was, and I'm on one of the last records, and it, it was just incredible. And and I remember uh, recording, and I'm on ten thousand, so I'm screaming top of my lungs. Oh, I'm on ten thousand. I'm hype. I'm on the mountaintop with it. And then Kanye was, hey man, he was like, man, Jake, do it one more time. He's like, bring it down a little bit. Do it one more time. I'm like, all right. So I I bring it down a little bit. Do it again. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm warmed up now. And then he like. That's it. Come on in. And I'm like, oh, I can do it better than that. No, no, no. Come on in. I'm like, I'm like, Kanye, man, I can, I can do it better than that. He's like, no, nah, man, that's it. That's the one. Come on in. So then we started listening back, and it was just, it was just people coming in, getting chills and tears, and it was just, it was a moment, like just to see how fast he worked. Cause me, I probably would have been at it for an hour, like recording over and over and over. He's like, no, that's it. The, that first, second tech, that's it. So just to see him work. So even so even that same night, right? We uh kind he just kept playing the song over and over again. And then he was like, Man, Jay, he was like, You heard this song, this uh the singer named John Stevens. I was like, Yeah, I've been hearing about him in New York. He like, let me play this song. So he played this song, song off the chain, his soul food, was just it was just a dope song. So an hour later, John Stevens come in the studio. I'm surprised. I didn't know he was there. So I'm like, yo, what's up, man? I'm Jay Ivey. I'm a poet from Chicago. Because so I heard your music. I was like, it's amazing. I was like, sound like that music from the old school. I was like, sound like that music my folks used to listen to back in the day. I was like, dog. I was like, you sound like one of the legends. I was like, you a legend. You a legend. I said, matter of fact, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. I'm going to call you the legend. So I started calling him John the legend. John the legend. So it's just me and him talking, right? So a couple days later, we still in the studio. We in the lounge. 10, 12 of us, Kanye, Tari Ture, Cootie, I think Monat may have been there, in walks John Stevens, everybody shouting him out, oh, John Stevens in the building, John Stevens, what up, John Stevens in the house, what up, John Stevens, and I was like, John Legend, and everybody looked at me, and they looked back at him, and they was like, oh, man, oh, man, and Kanye was the main one, you John Legend from now on, that's it, that's it, so that's how John Stevens got the name John Legend, so, but it was just, again, to see how quickly he worked. Now, fast forward to the, uh, I wasn't really in any other sessions until Jesus came. I really didn't know what to expect walking into the studio. We were at a, a Ernie Barnes art exhibit, and I just finished performing, and he came through because um, Ernie Barnes actually did a painting for Kanye because Cootie was like, you should have Ernie Barnes do, uh, do your cover the same way he did Marvin Gaye's uh, album cover and Curtis Mayfield. He was like, you should get him to, do a painting, so he commissioned them to do a painting, and then they, they had like one of the early, uh, like one of the early sketches uh, at the at the gallery. So Cootie told, yeah, he's like, man, come check out the gallery. So he came through, and then uh, we saw each other. He said, oh man, what's up, man? Man, it's good to see you. He's like, yo, come to the studio. I was like, all right. So I go, not knowing what to expect. Last thing I heard was, um, if I get bleach on my t-shirt or <laughs> whatever. It, did that make me an answer? That was the last, my last impression at the time. So then when I walk in, it's man, Bible verses printed real big on the wall and Sunday service, um, like uh, different things they were putting together for the, for the promo for Sunday service on the wall. I'm like, oh, oh, this is what we on? Okay. And it was just, it was just the most peaceful moment I've probably ever had in the studio. Outside of my own sessions, it was just... It was just, man, like I could breathe. And, and it was beautiful because he had, the house was set up where, and this was on his property in, in Calabasas. We had this house where you had, in the living room was kind of like an office space where you had like architects and, and different folks putting designs and stuff together. And then uh, each bedroom was was uh, was turned into a studio and, 
and then you got uh, so producers, you got Bugs and and um, a couple cats upstairs making beats, and then folks who just rotate uh, in the studio. So you so um, uh, I'm trying to think who all was there. So GLC and really O and um, and and uh, and um, Tony was Tony Tony Williams and and um, there's different folks just coming up with different ideas. So everybody work all day, and then at the end of the day, this remember them huts he had those uh, he was building. So those are outside. Those are like you know a two minute walk outside the outside the crib. Everybody work all day. Then we go up in the little hut, and then he have a chef come through, and the chef would. Uh, you know, cook dinner for everybody, and then we eat together, break bread, and then after we break bread, we go back to the house, and everybody just played what they had been working on, and it was just, man, Sean Leon, uh, MC singer out of out of Toronto, who off the chain, he was there. Um, uh, I'm trying to think who I was there, but uh, it was just creative and beautiful and. It was a lot of building. Like we listened to the music that everybody worked on, and after we listened to the music, then we fellowship and we we talking and and uh, this was actually the first time I I remember telling Kanye about Never Let Me Down, about me praying for the praying for the uh, for that verse, and and how it all came together when Cootie called me, and and then he was like, man, he was like, can you pray? I'm like, oh yeah, for sure. So now it's uh, like 20 of us, Consequence was there. So now it's like 20 of us. I'm like, man, let's let's stand up. <laughs> you know, you know, heads down, you know, close your eyes. And then, and then we all pray together. I don't remember being in no session where we all prayed together, you know, where, where a group of people just like, like, okay, let's, let's give honor to God in this moment, in this space, because what we're creating is for him. And it's important that, that we're clear and, and, and and precise about the messaging that we putting out and the energy we putting into this music, and then, you know he had he asked us you know different rules like yo like why are we working on this no cussing no drinking no smoking and try not to you know be on IG looking at Instagram models <laughs> like try just like really like we creating this music for him let's be clear as clear as can be, and it was it was a beautiful experience man like it was something I didn't expect. But I um, feel blessed to have been part of that process. And I was in the, in the studio uh, about a week with him, and it, it, was, it was incredible.